Getting dumped in a Lake Max of Cucky. September 21st, 2019. Fishing a singles tournament. My good guy Steve Prang's dumping me in. Hopefully go out and catch a whole big mess of large mouth smallmouth. We got our first one of the day, yes sir. Got it on the Alabama rig. It was starting to rain after the tournament, and so I drove home. So that's why I'm now in my backyard. But I had a pretty good day on Lake Max Cookie. I want to share with you two strategies, techniques, patterns, whatever you want to call them, that I employed today to finish second place, second place in the tournament. The two patterns are baitfish and crawdads. That's what I'm saying here. Now, on a natural lake like Lake Max Cookie, glacial water, very clean water, deep, those fish often will chase bait fish across the lake during this time of year. It's it's uh, September 21st, which is, I don't know, down south may not be fall, but around here, it's turning fall. A couple weeks, all, all of our leaves will be changed and so forth. So fall's right here. Now, when they get on this bait fish pattern, depth is irrelevant. They could be in one foot of water chasing bait, or they could be in 75 foot of water. They don't care. They're not relating to any kind of structure. They're just chasing bait. To be truthful, that's what I expected to experience today on Lake Maxi, but it just really didn't happen. My first keeper did come that way. That was 14 foot of water. Uh, Alabama rig caught the first fish. You just saw that, saw that in the video, but that was really it. I did catch my biggest fish of the day, it weighed 292 largemouth doing this. Oh, body. Oh man, this is the one I need to be competitive today. Whoa, baby! That was it. Now let me tell you what I like to do with a Alabama rig. I am partial to Loch Ness lures, Nessie and Little Nessie baits. Uh, first off, they do sponsor me. That is true. But they have the same body style as a Kitek, and they're more durable. So they last longer and they cost less. So it's kind of beneficial for the, for the pocketbook that way. But in the state of Indiana, you're only allowed three baits with hooks, but you're allowed to use five baits. So I've got one set up here with five baits and five hooks. But when I need to, when I need to remove some hooks, here's what I do. I, I call them dummies. So I had three baits with hooks and two with dummies, and it's just a lead head without the hook. You can buy these, or you can simply take one of these and cut off the hook. But the reality is, I didn't get a lot of bites doing this. So after about 90 minutes doing this in deeper water, thinking that's how the tournament was had, what I had to do to win this tournament, I went shallow. And I immediately started getting bit around shallow weeds. And see, that's the other pattern I can still set up around here. Arr. Don't think he's going to keep, but the cool thing about that was I saw a fish jump out there. It surfaced and cast my tube to it, and he hit. These fish, I thought they'd be out deep chasing bait. They weren't. They weren't chasing bait today. So what else are they going to eat? Crawdads. Not a big smallmouth. But it's a Lake Mexican cookie smallmouth. Eating that tube. Hit it twice. Missed it first time, then he come back and hit it again. Mouth. You see that jump? This guy's a foot long and he jumped five feet in the air. I need today. So 
on. I really got two baits that I use to target crawdads in shallower water because they were there in fairly shallow water. Nine to six foot is where most of my fish were were caught. A two. tube, extreme bass tackle tube. I love this formula G3 color. That's what I was using all day. Now what you do is take a lead head here. Uh, actually, call it a tube jig. I get mine by bite me tackle and. I know it's kind of gross, but I make it wet because it's hollow, and now I can shove it in there. It slides in there real nice, and then I pop out the eyelet. My other bait, that, and I didn't throw it today, but I love the Loch Ness Lures Monkey Knuckle, and it's knuckle of opposed, you've heard me talk about the Monkey Punch before, but it's knuckle because they've split the tail. Uh, usually I got a one-two punch when I find this kind of pattern, but the truth is this worked on my first cast So I kind of just stuck with it all day long But that was on the deck ready to go and I, I would be amiss if I didn't mention my second favorite bait When I'm eating on those crawdads shallow the way I work a tube or the monkey punch is it's pretty simple It takes a lot of discipline though. I want to keep that bait on the bottom. I'll pump my rod Ever so slightly it might look like I'm pumping it pretty hard, but the truth is I've got a lot of slack in my lines. All those little pumps are only moving my bait six, eight inches each time. But the key is keeping it on the bottom. I almost always use a quarter ounce weight or heavier to ensure that it stays on the bottom. I do the exact same thing with a monkey punch or a monkey knuckle. What I need, buddy. This would be a big call for Andy Buzz here. It'd be a good call for the hunter fish. It's turning into a good day for the hunter fish. Without heartbreak, I did lose my biggest fish. Another two tactics that work in clear water in early fall. A third tactic would be skipping docks. That's a real productive pattern this time of year too, but wasn't the case in Lake Max Cucky. In fact, I was never tempted to do it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to hit the like button, make comments. I'd love to hear your feedback. And until the next time, hunt or fish, we'll see you on the water. Third place today oh God, look at that. is $130. That's about Hensley, weigh 10.12. Thank you, congratulations. Yep. Yep. Second place is worth $260. Yours truly, the best looking guy here. Thank you, thank you. And I, what did I say that way? 10.58. And first place. And also Big Bass. First place is $410. Big Bass was $80. Bucks, making today worth $490. Big Fish was $3.19. 11.78. Total weight. Mr. Ben. Congratulations.
Jump Bank for a great season. Hope you had fun. And uh, see you next season. We'll see. We'll see.